I'm Tammy Kaur from Way Cool. And I'm Tika from CA Fitness. And we are here to show you how to do measurements. So for all you new coaches out there looking how to do measurements, we are here to teach you all about consistency. So every time you measure your clients, um, you're, gonna, you're gonna know how to do it from this video, but you also don't want someone else measuring your clients. I don't care if it's your husband or your best friend, even if they're coaches, everybody pulls a little bit differently. So I'm gonna try to show you a consistent way for your clients to give them everything they're working hard for and not cheat them out of their measurements. So Tika, I'm gonna have you face the wall, arms out, and I'm gonna reach around her if you need to go over if they're a little larger, that's okay. I'm gonna reach around, okay, face the camera a little bit, Tika. I'm gonna go high up on the chest bone, and I'm gonna come underneath her arms, not pull tight, relax your arms down. Okay, face your back. Okay, I'm gonna come across, and if they have beautiful long locks like Tika does, you wanna move those out of the way, and you don't wanna pull, like I said, give them all the work that they're doing. You just wanna lay it over and show exactly, not from the very beginning of the tape, but from where it shows zero. And we wanna round it to the nearest quarter inch. And those are gonna be that's gonna be the first one of the nine. We're gonna have nine different measurements and that one's above the chest, the upper chest. Now we're gonna do across the chest, which I like to make people feel comfortable by saying across the girls. Tika, can you put that across the girls? And for the guys, I tend to say your niblets, just saying. <laughs> and then same thing, we're not gonna pull tight. We're just gonna to go to the nearest quarter inch and then we're gonna go down. Take a face the camera. This one's gonna be called the above the waist. This is the third measurement. You're gonna go about two inches above, which people like to say two fingers, and we're gonna go around like this. Do not pull, because you can really squeeze into a woman. You have to be careful if they're silhouette. And go to the nearest quarter inch again. And the fourth measurement is gonna be right on the waist. So we're gonna go down. In Tika's case, it's gonna be right on her waistline, but because of her strong silhouette, you wanna make sure you don't want your customers in spandex because it can slip right on up and it's very difficult to keep it. You also wanna make sure that you're always parallel to the floor. So wherever I start in the front, you don't want it scalloping down or going up at an angle. Try to keep it parallel with the floor to the nearest quarter inch. Now we're gonna go with measurement number five, which is your hips. We go down. Okay, right across the crest of her hiney, which is usually the largest part. People do carry in different areas. You don't need to be on the largest part of the hiney. You want to be right across the center. Like I said, turn around, Tika. Tika's lost a lot of weight, so she's doing incredible. But different people have different. And if you have a larger abdomen hanging down, you still want to go parallel with the floor across that to catch that to the nearest quarter inch. All right, so now number six. This next measurement is gonna be on the legs. And Tika is a wonderful client because she knows about shoulder width apart, relax your arms down, never have your client puffed up or sucking in, wait for them to relax. Also, if you, you don't wanna force them, so make sure that you just talk to them and make them feel comfortable, start a conversation until you feel their bodies relax if you're doing the upper torso measurements, okay? Tika, I'm gonna have you turn around to face the camera. And I'm gonna come down because I always like to stay behind the client because you don't wanna be all up in their business and make it intrusive. So when she's facing frontwards and relaxed, I'm gonna go right at the bottom of her middle finger. Now I do joke and say, we're gonna do a little Catholic schoolgirl measurement, like the shorts. Oh, Tika, you're on that. There we go. So same, same procedure of being parallel with the floor. Go to the bottom of her finger, don't pull tight, just lay it on top, go to the nearest quarter inch. We're gonna do the same thing on the left side. And then for the arms, which is gonna be the eighth and ninth measurement, we're gonna go, let's turn you this way so they can really see. We have a sho the shoulder and the elbow, we're gonna go right in the center. And with the arms, you gotta be very delicate because I could pull, but you don't wanna do that because you wanna see as they're losing weight and the elasticity starts tightening up, you wanna be able to just lay the, lay the measuring tape on top, go to the nearest quarter inch, okay? So this is how we measure. Thank you.